Good morning. This is a lovely day to be outside after a couple of days of rain, which we definitely needed during this season. And welcome to all of you for this, we can categorically say, brand new plaza. This is one of the plaza that is part of the Pavement to Parks program that we are very much proud of um, sharing this with you today. And again, um, I have, uh, besides the opening of this, we're going to have an exciting announcement about a few more projects that are going to be happening around the city. Before, before further ado, I will um, ask uh, our district supervisor here, Sophie Maxwell, to join us at the podium. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, welcome, welcome. This is just one of many that we're doing. And it's so appropriate because we have just finished in this area of a very extensive planning process about open space. We're looking at having a lot more housing and a lot more mixed use. And so we're looking at how can we use the space that we have? How can we make it a better quality of life for people? And as you look around, it doesn't take a lot of space. It's just well used space. And so this is very exciting for the people in this community. Um, they use this quite a lot. If you come out on the Saturday or on the Sunday, uh, you have to say, excuse me, just to get around. There are a lot of kids, people playing. These are the kind of spots that we need in San Francisco. Parks don't have to be like Golden Gate Park. They just need to be green and a place where people are comfortable and they can gather. So again, I want to thank the mayor and his program and for all the citizens who have helped and participated. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor. As mentioned, we are very much excited about the open space improvement plan that for Showplace Square and Potrero Hill, which is a fantastic opportunity for us to continue to be creative uh, for kind of urban open space. I want to um, bring everyone to the excitement of the day of um, having to know what we've done accomplished to date and what we're going to do moving forward. So, uh, Mayor Newsom, please join us. All right, thanks, Ashley. Thank you all for being out here today. Um, I, I'm always, I, I'm not always, twice I have been mesmerized by the enthusiasm as we've held public events for similar openings of uh, plazas in this city. The normity of people that come out uh, and the enthusiastic response that we have received. And uh, this was not what we imagined. I and mean, we started off modestly uh, with a little idea uh, in the Castro, around 17th and Market. And we thought we'd put some chairs and a couple tables out there, and put some bollards up so people wouldn't run folks over. And we thought maybe five or six people would pay attention to it, and then people would slowly discover it. We discovered very quickly about 150 people showed up, and they immediately demanded what we were going to do next. They wanted to hear, all right, this is great, but what about another part of town? What about uh, making even that first plaza more robust and more integrated to the broader community? So we quickly realized we had fallen on a pretty good idea. It's an idea that really comes from all of you, uh, from the community, because you've been demanding that we begin to democratize our streets in a little different way. And I say democratize them in this context, that who said that every single street that's paved has to be a street that has a priority exclusively for automobiles. I mean, who decided that? And when was that decided? Uh, and why not take a look at that and reconsider those decisions? 25% of the land mass in this city, it's rather remarkable, 25% of it are streets. That's more than all the parks and open space. So we've got to look differently if we want to improve the quality of life in this city. We've got to look differently, not just at revitalizing those public spaces, like Sophie said, our parks and playgrounds, but start looking differently at ways we can do exactly what we've done out here today. And that's what we've uh, begun in earnest. We have been assessing uh, all of the city, and we've been out there literally, not figuratively, mapping the city, and we've been identifying ideal spots uh, to create these plazas, and then to do smaller plazas, which we call parklets, as an opportunity to slow down the day and allow people to pause and reflect 
and connect with one another. And fundamentally, at the end of the day, that's what this is really about. It's about bringing community together, bringing people together. Uh, and slowing down the pace of life in this frenetic urban environment we call home San Francisco. We've done two. We announced today two additional where we are and at Guerrero Park. And then proudly, I could say, within the next few months, we will have an additional 12 of these uh, parklets and plazas in San Francisco. That's where you were supposed to applaud. Thank you. It doesn't say applaud, but thanks for, I don't know. So we're stepping it up. Took two in 09, two in the first part of the first quarter of 2010, and then 12 by the end of the calendar year. And just to give you a preview, we're gonna be down at Hayes Grove at Divisadero. We're gonna do a parklet there at 22nd Street, Mission in Valencia. We're gonna do another parklet at Noe Valley Plaza right around 24th Street, which is great. It's near where I live, uh, Clement Parklet near the toy, toy boat, toy boat. Remember that when you're a kid, toy boat, uh, toy boat cafe, um, and a Columbus uh, near Cafe Greco, uh, in North Beach and Cafe uh, Roma. Here's the intersection. You've got Axis Cafe. They must love this. And thank you, by the way, Axis for supporting this. The two employees that are here, we appreciate that because uh, it it would encourage people to hang around and go in. And Get something to eat, a little coffee. I want to thank, though, our partners. AT&T really stepped up, so thank you, AT&T. I see someone with a T-shirt. I assume you're with AT&T. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank, and this is an opportunity. What we're, we're doing is we're taking the creativity of the city and all the talented folks, and they're stepping up and helping support the city. And in, in this economic environment, we can't write big checks, so we've got designers that are providing the design uh, and the artistic expression, and they're doing it pro bono. And one of them is John Bella. Where's John? Raise your hand, John. Thank you, John, for making this happen. Well done. And his company, Rebar. He's holding up his card. Thank you to Rebar for being here and stepping up and organizing this and making it happen. Uh, I also want to thank Nibby Brothers, the general contractors that helped out on a pro bono basis. Where's Nibby Brothers? <laughs> Don't be shy. Thank you. And uh, to, again, Axis Cafe and then the Floral Grub Nurseries for all the plantings. Thank you for taking dumpsters and making them planters. Who would have thought? In addition to the California College of Arts. Thank you to all there. There they are. I knew there'd be more of you than anybody else. Thank you guys for all coming together. And uh, we're going to be out. I'm going to be doing a, my weekly YouTube video, which... I know no, none of you have ever heard of, and so I don't expect you to watch it, but we're going to be out at uh, Guerrero Park in a moment, and I just want to, in anticipation of thanking them privately, thank publicly Jane Martin at Shift Designs for doing the same out there. Jane, if you're here, thank you for your good work, and thank Sutter Health that stepped up out there. They see a benefit. We talk about the anti-obesity work and talking about wellness. This is part of getting people back out on the streets, walking around, and it's a health strategy. Thank you, Sutter. Safeway stepped up out there. Thank you to Safeway and PG&E and Mitchell Ice Cream. I don't understand that either, but thank you, Mitchell Ice Cream. Uh, I love Mitchell Ice Cream. I don't know why they did it, but all right. Um, the Seed Fund, we'll talk about that later. And Jillian Gillette and the whole neighborhood group down there that really drove it. I'll be interviewing Jillian, so she'll get her day a little bit later. And all the, all these Department heads, these guys that you pay to do good work that deserve to be recognized for the good work they're doing at the Department of Public Works, at the Department of Planning, at the, yes, Department of Parking and Traffic. They do some good work, actually, don't they? They're not just handing out tickets all the time. Uh, and thank the team behind me, and you'll hear from them in a moment. And yes, Phil Ginsburg feeling left out, the chair of recreation and park. We, I know they're feeling like, what about us? Uh, don't you love lawns and playgrounds? But we do. But we want to supplement them with plazas uh, and with flowers and uh, with this new innovative strategy. And finally, I want to just thank Astrid Hayarty. I don't know if you know Astrid. She, we stole her from Chicago. I was so sick and tired of hearing from people saying, I was just back in Chicago on Michigan Avenue, you know, we really should look a lot more like Chicago in terms of their flowers and greening and the like. And so we thought the best way to deliver on that 
was to steal the person responsible for that. And that's why Hydra is here. So thank you, Hydra, for your leadership and stewardship and, and making all this happen. Final words. This doesn't cost much. It's a few thousand dollars. It's ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in most cases. And I mentioned all the good people coming together. I didn't mention all the community that are providing their human capital, not just their financial capital, to make it happen and their commitment. And this is the final takeaway point. Your long-term commitment to keep these parklets up and to keep these plazas up. And to let us know if we didn't screw up. Because you know what? You may decide this was the worst idea in the world and you want it back to the way it used to be. And we are open argument. We're interested in your point of view. And if there's ways to improve it, like we're going to make those improvements to 17th and Market, let us know as well. So this is a work in progress. If in five months you say, we need this, we need that, uh, we're here to not only listen, but to act on that. So don't think that the budget deficit is gonna get in the way of making investments into our diverse communities. And I wanna thank Supervisor Maxwell for her strong support, for her leadership in making sure that we reach out to all of our neighborhoods and all of our districts with this program as well. So thank you, Supervisor Maxwell. And again, thank you all of you for coming out this afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As you can hear, it's quite exciting to actually work on various more of this project of this scale and size and also the parklets that was mentioned. Um, I want to also uh, inform everyone, also Mr. Mayor, that Wells Fargo even step up to actually uh, in support of us. Uh, we may have Wells Fargo representative who's in the crowd and thank you again for your uh, help here. And we certainly look forward to uh, have another uh, kind of partnership moving forward for every single project uh, that is going to happen very soon. Uh, all of this project cannot happen without uh, the leadership and the project management team, both uh, or all from uh, the various departments that we have here, especially uh, Andres Power. Where are you now in the crowd? Yours personal attention to all the projects and working collaboration with Department of Public Works. I know uh, folks from DBW is here, Liz Lerma and Chris McDaniel is here. Your director is actually receiving an award right now, so we're very proud of the Public Works work. And certainly PUC for helping out to improve the lighting, because there's an LED lighting on this plaza, along with the other plaza as well. And colleagues and departments has thank you very much for your help. And one of the, I want to also uh, mention that our uh, California College of the Arts president here, Steve Beal, and the crowd and our uh, director for the architecture program is here. Uh, you might well be interested to hear that California College of the Art is also conducting an exciting studio class for its architecture program to analyze existing plaza like this and certainly to take on uh, a project of their own to do something similar. So we are very excited to see how virally uh, in infectious of this one and making others are actually encouraged to do more. So again, thank you very much, uh, Steve Beal and the team from California Academy of, uh, College of the Art. Um, next, I want to be able to actually have uh, Steve, uh, I'm sorry, uh, John Bella to the podium if you can share uh, your thoughts quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Congrats. Thank you. Hello. Okay, thank you so much. So, what am I supposed to talk about? <laughs> What'd you do here? <laughs> What's Explain your vision? to how you actually you know, transform the this, space. This yeah. project? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, this project uh, couldn't have been done without the incredible, incredible support of uh, Andre's power and planning, who really has the visionary leadership and the passion to kind of make these projects happen. Um, you know, when Andres approached us about the project, actually, we approached Andres. You know, we, we saw the project at 17th and Castro. Rebar has been doing the work of reclaiming uh, street space and turning it into to, uh, public spaces for many years. And we really wanted to get involved in this project. Um, we love working, uh, transforming streets into new public spaces. And we saw this as a great opportunity. Um, this is a fairly large site to work with. And um, what we wanted to do was create a sense of enclosure here. So really uh, define a, a, a place where people would feel comfortable entering into. And so we used these, um, uh, these uh, old sewer pipes from the PUC. 
we went on a tour with um, folks from, from DPW and we looked at the materials which are available in the city for us to use. Everything in this park is a recycled or repurposed material. The granite curbs come from the old granite curbs in the city that were collecting dust in a DPW storage lot. These uh, um, debris boxes were, were kindly donated by Recology. Again, they were older debris boxes. They weren't so much used to them, but they were plenty of use to us for turning into new planters. Um, this incredible black granite that used to be on Market Street was also sitting in a storage lot. So it's really about this approach of, of reuse, of repurposing, and coming up with inventive ways of, of using materials to create a new public space like this. So we're really proud uh, to be involved in the, in the project. We're really excited about what comes next. And uh, we love San Francisco. We love working with DPW. And we just uh, are thankful for the opportunity to do this kind of work. So, and thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Jen Bella, is that right? We have some fig trees and citrus tree in the, in the uh, planted in the box. Do we have an edible trees, Jen Bella? Yes. Uh, so this is a, a little uh, a food forest idea over here. There's figs and grapefruit and uh, some oranges. Um, yeah, and we'd like to do more of that kind of stuff. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, as the mayor mentioned also, we also uh, mentioning the, the completion of the work for uh, Guerrero Park. And we thank CPMC, I believe Paula is here in the Crapola Lichens. And thank you again for your effort and your support and many other sponsors. And uh, we'd like this time to have Gillian Gillette to actually share uh, a little bit of a note about that particular site. Gillian? Well, um, thank you so much. This is ex an extraordinary time for us. And um, I guess speaking as a parent of two small children, one of whom is in the San Francisco Unified School District as, the, as a small business owner and as, um, as the co-chair of a neighborhood group, um, I I'd like to say, please do more of these. These are really so incredibly meaningful for San Francisco. Um, we're very delighted. And to just reiterate that uh, the thanks to the mayor, to the whole city family, to supervisors Dufty, Amiano, but especially to Andres Power, the project manager at the city's planning department. And also again to St. Luke's Hospital and CPMC for recognizing that walking, being able to walk around your local hospital is just as important as the, the preventative and wellness care that happens inside a hospital. So thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, thank you, Jillian, and I would like to note that Jillian and the community actually take on an additional um, effort around the Guerra Park to do sidewalk planting, and we certainly encourage to do more of that around the city. We don't really have a ribbon to cut, but we believe this is a day to actually celebrate the completion of this plaza. Thank you again for your attendance, and uh, the success of this plaza is... Um, depending on how you all use this and use it well and looking forward to continue our partnership moving forward. And uh, see me and see us again at the opening of Parklets around the city and certainly it's going to be two off more of those. Thank you. Thank you, Ban Yi, John Ram and the whole city team. Haven't answered any questions, but why don't we walk around and then everyone needs to go shopping and eat at Axis Cafe. Thank you, guys. You to Andres, he's been the work hard behind all this. Nice Out here planting you. plants and buying furniture and doing right. all the planning work and design work. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Pressure's on now. <laughs>